Hey everyone, Nebris here. Welcome back to another episode of Minecraft Feed the Beast. Things have been coming along quite smoothly, except for us sort of not knowing what the future of the server is going to be for a second. But uh, things are calming down a bit, and I think we know where this thing is going. And now that we know where it's going, or at least we think we do, we can get back to having lots of fun. So, I guess, uh... One of the things I was doing down here is getting ready for what's going to happen if this base gets destroyed. I have all the stuff I will need to sort of start over again and be relatively well off even early on. So, not everything, but I've secured quite a bit of stuff here. So, what's changed? Um, well... We can't really talk about the changes yet, but we do think changes are coming. <laughs> so, a lot of the work I've done down here might be for naught. But, uh, who knows? It's still nice that I went ahead and did it. Anywho, uh, next project. I made a bunch of these geothermal generators and pumped my lava into it. And now my lava's actually gone. I was not expecting that. Like, this thing seemed to last forever, but it is no more. There's no more lava for us to be had. And that makes me a sad panda, because I was relying on this lava for a lot of stuff. Those magmatic engines, these geothermal generators, these geothermal generators. Oh, and by the way, now I'm completely aware of the fact that, uh, had explosions not been disabled, every one of these machines would be gone right now. Yeah, I messed up. But, let's pretend we did have power. Here's what would be going on right now. We'd be streaming all this power into this recycler here that's making scrap out of these four igneous extruders, throwing it into a mass fabricador, and then duplicating iridium ore using my replicator of justice which uses patterns now I really don't like what I I really do not like what industrial craft is becoming it's it's going down the bad path of injustice and that that's kind of stinks cuz I really liked it in the last uh last mod so yeah I have to go to the nether now and reset the uh the thing, the lava, the endothermic pump. I need to do that so I can get some lava back. So let's uh let's jump to that. Alrighty, I am back and oh my gosh. So this is what an endothermic pump does, and this is why I had so much lava to work with. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is this? Sunstone from Ars Magica. And there was lava hiding underneath it. That's no fair. So I'm going to try to find all the sunstone I can. Since it's all, all easy access. My gosh. That's that's incredible. Oh, there's a aura node here. This is incredible. So, uh, another thing that happened, um, as you can see, my mana is only a thousand. That is because my Ars Magica level reset when I went to visit the end and came back. It was gone. I'm not particularly happy about that, because a lot of my skills... Oh, it's those guys! Oh, those are Ars Magica baddies. Um, a, l a lot of my skills are pretty mana intensive. Heck, oh, I thought it dropped something interesting. Yeah, a, a lot of my skills are very mana intensive. And without that huge mana pool that I had, I can't cast a lot of them. So this is where I was hiding my stuff. Just a tesseract, magmatic engine, 
and an endothermic pump. I can I can still do like two minutes. <laughs> Whoa. It's a bit of lag. I can still do about two minutes of uh flight. But it's not the nine minutes that I'm used to, so I need to be very careful. Oh, just leveled up again. I am getting my levels back pretty quickly, so it's not that big a deal. Cobalt. Every time I find cobalt, I am always finding double the Ardite right next to it. So, there's one cobalt. There's four Ardite. There's two cobalt. <laughs> And there's some more Ardite. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy like that. I'm just, you know, getting it where I can find it. Denying the others the ability to get it. Because I'm evil like that. Alright, so... Based on how this worked, I think I'm just, just going to put it in the center here, probably. Right on top of that sunstone. Like, I want to maximize the area here. And I think this is the place to do that. So I got 40... Uh, 40 seconds of flight left. Bump. Um... Endothermic pump of justice. Mag. There we go. And a tesseract. Let's get this guy started. So yeah, um, lost all of my uh, magic levels. Very sad. But I need to get out of here before a ghast shows up and ruins my day. Although while I'm here, while I'm here, I need to go get myself some uh, glowstone. So I'll be back um, once I have found something cool to do with you guys. All right, I am back at my base. And I figured out what I want to do with you guys today. This uh, Battle Mage armor, pretty nice, but I kind of want the other kind of armor, the Quantum kind. Yes, I have here enough Iridium Ore to make nine Iridium Plates, and you get to make it the easy way. Let's, uh, no, no, type in a U here. Do that, encode it, next, next, no, previous, previous, I was crafting a heat exchanger for Doc, apparently he doesn't, uh, er, I don't even know, um, he doesn't, uh, he wasn't able to craft one for some reason, and, uh, I could, so, yeah, um, so what are we doing, let's, uh, oh yeah, let's, Let's look at what needs to be done first. Let's, uh... Nano! Oh, we should make a nano saber. Not yet, but... You know. Eventually. Okay, so... That's how you make the boots. That's how you make the legs. That's how you make the chest. And that's how you make the head. I don't know how to make these night vision goggles, though. Oh, these are all bad. These are all bad. Shift right click to clear them. I am so glad you guys taught me that. Do, 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 boop, boop, do. Alright, so you're probably wondering why these are all bad and I just had to delete them. That is because. Ew. Uh, I'll have to craft one of these. B 
begin. Hopefully that shouldn't take too long. Oh, it's got to grind all this crap now. So the problem is, I think I've showed this before, but this energy crystal is different than the ones that I'm going to be feeding it. So it's not going to be able to make this out of out of the one I feed it because it's a slightly different ID number than that. So I have to craft one and then use that. What's going on here? It's crafting the diamond. The energy of dust is that that goes a bit faster, thankfully. So once it gets this last diamond, it should craft it pretty quickly. Should craft it pretty quickly. I have no idea what it's waiting on. Oh, it's it's a compressor thing that has to be compressed. Um, so what are those called? <laughs> Energy crystals. Let's go ahead and replace that. Actually, I need to get the whole thing. Let's replace that. I'm probably gonna have to also replace those night vision goggles. So let's not even. Let's just do the the boots. Encode. So I have the boots, the panties, and the body armor. So I'll have those at least. Now how do you make these? Oh god. Encode. Oh my gosh. So let's start with this thing. Um... So I am going to need this heat exchanger pattern. Let's uh, let's check it out again. No, 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 no. Recipe. That's pretty much all there is to it. Let's see. Let's see if we can't craft this right away. What's it called? Night vision. Begin crafting. Oh, yep, same thing's going to go on here, this advanced battery thing. Don't you just love it when you get it wrong? I'm going to have to kill this, uh, this guy and give it the battery. I just don't like, don't like how it does that to me. Makes me so sad. But apparently these things have a nice visual display on them. Advanced RE battery. Advanced RE battery. Yeah, they do have a nice visual display on them now. Apparently they fill up with black on the front when they're charged. Which is cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah. So many things here now. Chugging along. <clears throat> acquiring resources and doing awesome things. So yeah, I'll be back once I have all my you know, resources ready. I am back, and apparently I just hit my record button into there. And, oh, that must mean it's a wild card. Anywho, um, we're going to try to craft this again. Hopefully it's going to work this time. Oh, it's still trying to do the old one. Um, night vision goggles... This time, yeah, this time it already has the uh, guy out of the way. Lapis lazuli plate. I thought I had a recipe for that, but I guess not. Let's come in here. Let's look at our plate crusherizer. We don't have lapis plates. We have lapis dust, but not lapis plates. What is the recipe for a lapis plate? Compressor, lapis dust, and a compressor. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. A compressor. Nope. <laughs> Not in there. So, let's get some lapis dust. Lapis dust. Let's run all the way back here. I should probably put these a lot closer to each other 
in my next base. Compress faster. Compress like you mean it. Awesome. So let's come over here. Did I? Yeah, I took care of that already. This goes in the output slot. This goes in the input slot. Code. We've encoded it. And then we have to run all the way back over here. Um, and give it the right thing. So there, now it knows how to make them, and it should have no problem making them. I'll just throw those in there quickly. So it's slowly going to make those, and then make the heat exchangers, and then finally night vision goggles. Although, now that I think about it, I might want a, my own copy of these just so... Um, yeah, just so I can uh, see in the dark. That would be kind of cool, especially when hunting for people at night. <laughs> yeah, it's starting the whole process over again, and look how involved a process this is to craft one helmet. Isn't it? It's kind of ridiculous, but I, I'm glad I have applied energistics. It's pretty much the only saving grace of this of this travesty that industrial craft has become. Whew. So yeah, I'll be back with you guys once I've got my goggles. Alrighty guys, I'm back with my new night vision goggles of justice. And I've now got a correct nano suit uh next helmet thing thingamabob. Um I also made a nano saber crafty thing. And I started crafting up these energy crystals. So, actually, I want to... I kind of want to make the nano saber first. I want to be the first person on the, sa the server with the nano saber, to my knowledge. I want to see how... I, I remember it being a pretty effective weapon. I just don't... Uh, I don't recall how effective in, in comparison to something like... Uh, a rapier or whatever. We'll have to do some tests with someone at some point. But it sounds like my crystals are done. I got four of them. I want to put those night visions away as well. I do want to make another one though. Another energy crystal. Yeah, those advanced alloys probably take the longest. So uh, let's check it out over here. Oh yeah, it's coming along. Quite nicely, if I do say so myself. It's probably gonna... Yep, that's it. Oh, this guy's coming along. Let's uh, let's show you how this guy's... Uh, let's show you guys how this works. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so... These four precariously arranged igneous extruders are all pumping um, stone into the recycler, which is overclocked. It's being fed by this guy. Are these all on? These are all on. That's good. It's being fed by that guy alone. Um, it's making scrap. The scrap gets ejected out the back. And into the mass fabricator, which turns this, over time, into UU matter, which is now a liquid. That liquid gets pumped into here. Do, 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 do. Where it is consumed. This replicator consumes both EU and UU matter to make another one of these guys. And right now, it's waiting to consume more UU matter. Um, this thing is probably a lot more efficient, efficient when powered by, let's say, a nuclear reactor, which is something I might want to do in the near future. Oh wow, this goes a lot slower as, uh, as blocks. That's good to know. Um, 
Oh yeah, we should be done. We should have our Nano Saber of Justice now. Go, go, Nano Saber. No, we don't. Where, where are you at, Nano Saber? Oh, this is the crafting only. I do have to charge it, though, which is sad. So this thing will fill up pretty quickly in the Mufasa. But now this stuff is going to be engaged again. <laughs> Nano Saber of Justice. Okay, so right-click to turn it on and off. Let's see what it's like in its on power tier 3. Plus 20 attack damage. That looks pretty darn powerful. I'm going to have to do some tests, because that seems like it's pretty much the highest damage you can do. That's that's 10 hearts in one hit. That's a lot more than this guy or any of my other weapons. Um, so yeah, let's, let's start crafting my nano gear. Let's do the helmet first. Oh, I should have had this ready. This is going to take a while to get all the coal dust we need to start making these carbon plates. So, yep. <laughs> this is what we do. This is this is how we craft things and feed the beast. We tell it to craft something and then we wait. And while we wait, we can do some fun experiments like can we put sharpness 5 on a nano saber? No, you cannot. Fun experiment over. Alrighty. Let's uh let's check out our progress. <laughs> Hopefully it's not too bad. Still coming along. So <clears throat> doo -doo -doo. can't add sharpness or looting to the nano saber. So it really only has Utility in PvP. But that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. Um, you probably noticed that my levels dropped a bit. That is because I have made a Fortune 3 plate. So I, ha I have plates for pretty much everything that I need. Except for, you know, these guys, which I haven't made plates of yet. But I will eventually. It takes me to get to level 40 each time, so... Not an easy task. Ooh, essence berries. Nukes. Oh yeah, I think I made a nuke while I was waiting. Nuke. Yep. I think we calculated that I need 90-some spider eyes per nuke. So... That's, uh, once I get 90-some, or once I get 100, that's when I craft a nuke, so every time I get 100. Alright, I guess I'm still just doing a bit of waiting, but I guess, uh, I can show you that I've already started the patterns for these guys. I just need my nano pants to finish crafting, and then I can add the patterns for these, and we can finally craft them together. Yay! Oops, I messed up. I just uh, did a whole bunch of stuff that I thought was on camera, but it wasn't, including me getting my first bit of quantum armor, which is really sad. But uh, yeah, I've got all my patterns here, and I've got all the uh, the nano parts, except for the legs, of course, and I want to start making all the quantum parts. I've already made the legs. I think what we're going to do... I really want to test out the chest. So, yeah, let's cancel you for now. We done already? Wow, that was... I guess I just had all the pieces there for it. So maybe not cancel you, because I do need another Lupatron. Unfortunately for me... I'm still macerating coal, which apparently takes forever. Oh no, here we go. We're doing, we're doing some. We're doing the right stuff. So, quantum leggings, awesome. Look how fast I go. 
going to charge up that. Anyhow, look at how much faster I go with the quantum leggings. I'm going to be able to speed around. I don't know. Let's let's see what this does in flight. This doesn't seem to affect my flight at all. No, and it doesn't carry over either. Still pretty fast. Let's see. Let's see how it interacts with the hang glider. I don't I don't even know. My base isn't really built for hang glider testing. So let's check out this uh this quantum armor. I don't all remember what it does, but it has a jetpack as part of it. But I can fly as it as it is, so I don't know what this does. I don't I don't remember. I think the helmet protects you from Poison. I think this might protect you from fire? Well, lava bucket ho! Nah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do that. That's fine, I'll do that. Nope, does not protect you from fire. You guys were wrong. I don't, I don't know what I was thinking listening to you guys. Although it did take a bit of damage there. It, the jetpack was a part of it. So I kind of suspect that there's some sort of flight to it. But I don't know how to test that. It's not the gravity suit. And the space bar, there's no space bar flight or anything. So, nope. I have no idea what this does. Maybe it's just decent armor. Who knows? But, uh, oh, can you enchant it? I remember... Well, let's grab protection. I kind of remember you being able to enchant industrial craft stuff before, but I don't know. There's one way to find out. The saber didn't enchant. Oh, this enchants. So, yeah. That's good to know, because... That's going to come in handy. So yeah, um, I'm going to go ahead and craft the other two now because I can. Quantum booties. Quantum helmet. There's the booties. Come on. Come on, helmet. What you doing? I need more uranium. Uranium. That sounds weird. Uranium. I need four more. I don't know that I have four. I do know that I have two. Hmm, it's going to be a while until I can make this helmet. But for now, I got the booties. Doo -doo, I got the booties. <laughs> Can't really make a song out of it. But, yeah, um, I guess I'm just going to have to spend a bit more time grinding... You, you matter, so I can make these booties. So until then, that's going to be it for this week. Thanks everyone for watching, and I will see you guys next time.